If you have a multi-modular structure set in place, then it can become messy if you don't implement the proper strategy for sharing. You definitely want to avoid duplicated resources. I will show you in practice how we can solve this problem and avoid the common pitfalls. I know, so most of you will say that uh, we just need to create the new shared module in which we can place uh, all our resources. And that's partially correct. Because after we rebuild our project, those uh, shared resources uh, will become available only inside the shared module. The generated resource object will not be available in other modules. Which means we cannot share those resources out of the box. So how is that possible? Well, the resource object which is generated for uh, images, strings and other files is uh, usually created at a compile time. Which means it uh, will be scoped to the module in which those resources are located. And even if we set that uh, shared module as a dependency of other different modules, those other modules will not be able to access that uh, shared uh, resource object since it will remain internal to that uh, shared module only. Now we come to the question, how can we actually expose those uh, shared resources to other modules? Well, easily. I'm going to show you that in a moment. By the way, I have recently published a new course where I'm going to teach you how to completely implement a multi-modular architecture in a Kotlin multi-platform. The link will be down in the video description if you want to check that out. Anyhow, first let me open up the project that uh, I have prepared for this uh, demonstration. This is a simple KMP project that targets Android and iOS with a shared UI. Right now we have three modules. Compose app that acts as a main entry point of our KMP app. Then we have a home which represents the module where we hold the home screen. And another feature module that holds the second detail screen. If we launch this application right now, you can see pretty much the standard navigation flow. When we click that button, we can navigate to the details screen. And when we click that back arrow, then we are navigating back. Here you might have noticed that we are using one arrow resource, which is shared between those two screens or those two modules. Right now I'm using the icons object to access that resource in both of those modules. But what if we have a custom icon instead? Well, in that case, we need to create a new shared module so that we can actually share our resources. So let's create one. At the moment of recording this video, there is now a direct way to create the KMP module from Android Studio. If we select a new, then a module from the drop down menu, we are not gonna see the option for creating the KMP module. Even though that option was available before. I do have a Kotlin multi-platform plugin installed by the way. But nevertheless, I hope that they will return this feature in the future. For the time being, we are gonna use the third party plugin which is called Module Maker. So let's select here uh, Tools from the menu, then choose Module Maker. This will open up the new window from which we can select the Kotlin module, add a custom package name as well as the name of that module. After we are done, just click this button to create a new module. If we receive here the success message, it means that uh, we are good to go. Now, this plugin will not create the Kotlin multi-platform module with uh, various source sets, but still it will make our lives a bit easier. The Gradle build file of this uh, new module is uh, almost empty. Which is why I'm gonna quickly open up the Gradle build file of the home or a details module and uh, just uh, copy and paste the whole thing. Now in this uh, shared module Gradle build file, I'm just gonna rename here the module name in uh, two different places. After we handle this uh, Gradle build file, we can proceed next and uh, rename this uh, main directory into the common main. If you need the other different source sets, like for example Android main or iOS main, you can just uh, copy an existing one, paste and uh, rename the source set accordingly. For now, I need uh, only the common main source set. Alright, so uh, the next uh, step is to add the new resource to the shared module. In this case, I have a one vector icon that uh, I need to add. But before that, I think we can just uh, copy this uh, common resource directory from the Compose app module so that we don't have to create it manually. One thing to point out here is that uh, we cannot directly paste the SVG file in the drawable directory. Instead, we need to convert it to the XML. 
And the easiest way to do that is to go to the Android main source set of the Composer app module so that we can import that vector resource through the vector asset dropdown option. After we select and import that file from the local computer, we can just copy that converted XML file and paste it directly into the common resource of the shared module. Also, you should know that uh, all new resources that we paste here will not become available in our code right away. Because we need to rebuild this project. That way, a compiler can uh, generate the Kotlin code that we can use to access those uh, new resources. Lastly, I'm gonna create here a new Kotlin object, which is called Resources. This is the object that uh, I'm going to use to expose our share resources to other modules to which we add this uh, share module as a dependency. Within this uh, object, I will add another object to represent the icon resource. For now, we have only one. Which is why I'm gonna create here a new variable and retrieve that uh, new vector icon. Perfect. Finally, open up the Gradle build file of uh, both home and the details module so that we can include the share module. We're gonna need it in order to access that uh, shared uh, resource object that uh, should expose shared icon in this case. When uh, adding an existing module as a dependency, be sure to add the colon symbol in front of the module name. Copy this uh, same dependency in the details uh, module Gradle build file, and that's it. Sync the project. After that, open up uh, both of those uh, screen composables and uh, replace that default icon with a custom one that we are now using from the shared module. Inside the home screen, that uh, arrow is uh, used inside the button, while in the details screen, that icon is uh, used as a navigation icon in the top A bar. Perfect. So that's how you can make sure to share your resources between uh, different modules without a resource duplication. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have a better solution, then be sure to comment down below as well. Drop a like if you find this video helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.